Hey guys, this is Wardell. I'm here with Island Gumbo family. I'm here with Jasmine Lombrage, Chef Angel Lombrage, and Angel Lombrage. So we got the uh, the Lombrage crew, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I'm so thrown off right now. The food is smelling so good, and I am just excited to taste the food. So right now, we're gonna talk to uh, Chef Angel about what's going on in these pots. Oh well. I'm gonna cook some of uh, the fin favorite for you. I got the spinach right here, and also I got the, some shrimp. Okay. And just, you're gonna help me cooking, right? Oh, you're trying to put me to work. Right? Okay. Of course. So, uh, what do we got? What are we gonna be using this for? For the shrimp. Okay, the shrimp? Shrimp, okay. and then also salmon, and we have some wet fish. Okay, okay. You know, that's Louisiana. Okay, okay. Wet fish, so good, good. give it a well, little flavor. Well, we're gonna let you get started. We're gonna get clear up the kitchen a little bit, and we're gonna start letting you get to it. Okay. So I, I noticed you. Is that what kind of oil is that? Is that? It's an olive oil. A, olive oil. Okay. Okay. You know, olive and, oil. You know, kind of cooking healthy. You we'll know, us being side. from Louisiana, we like to deep fry everything. <laughs> so tell me, this style of cooking is more sear style. Sear, exactly. Okay. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Well, and then this is also the shrimp. Okay. So, what what size shrimp are those? Are they Louisiana shrimp? Louisiana shrimp, you know, by local, and then also six and twenty. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh wow! All right. That's you a real chef. Yes. You want to try? Oh. All right. okay. Oh, she's got it too. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That looks amazing. So, so what is this complete dish we're cooking right now with the shrimp? So this is like a jerk shrimp. You know, the jerk shrimp. Wait, wait, a goat shrimp? Jerk. Oh, okay, jerk. I'm sorry, jerk shrimp. <laughs> I was like, okay. I mean, goat is probably in the Caribbean too, so I was like, I never heard of goat shrimp. Once you try it, you will never go back. <laughs> and I think goat is like a mutton. It's called a mutton. Well, it's, it's, the same, it's, it's a different family. It's a different family. Yeah. Okay, okay, it's great. Same, yeah, so what did, what did you add to the shrimp? We have some fresh bell pepper, onion. Okay. So the trinity. Oh, the holy trinity. That's the oh, Louisiana, okay. you know, right? Trinity of food. The holy trinity of food. How about yeah. that? Yeah. Okay, and how long does the shrimp uh, go on for? I mean, you saute it like maybe five minutes, then you add your sauce on. Okay, okay. Okay. A lot of your herbs are uh, from the, you know, natural, the majority of your herbs are organic and homemade. I mean, yes. homegrown, right? Really. Yes, they are. Wow. And, and the good thing is, if we don't have enough, he buys them locally. Okay. You know. So I see the salmon's getting ready to come out, and he also put a sauce on the uh, shrimp. shrimp. So what kind of sauce is that? That is a jerk sauce. He makes his own jerk sauce, and, and he salmon? puts it on that. When you have that with some fish. jasmine rice bordel, let me tell you, it makes you so happy. You just <laughs> and don't forget the secret sauce. Oh, the secret sauce. Okay, here's the secret sauce. It's called Island Heat. Island Heat. Island Heat. Wow, island heat, okay. Island gumbo with island heat. You don't you don't want that much on it. Okay. A couple of drops. <laughs> yeah. it's really for sinuses. Oh wow. All right, all right. Okay. So I mean everything looks like it's going pretty fast. Okay. The shrimp's gone off. Yeah. And everything we have our little sous chef helping out her dad. And that looks amazing. Oh wow. Wow. She has the technique and everything. What's going on next? I'm in mean the red fish. All right, so this is the red fish or? Yeah, yeah red fish. Red fish, okay. So we got a chef in, size, in training also. Oh, she's really, I love the fact that she can make so many things and she's so good in the kitchen. Oh my God. And yeah. you told me she's a woman. You told me she's one of the ones who um, prepares the majority of the uh, desserts Dessert. here. Right? She yeah. does? Wow. She's been doing it since she's three. Wow, three. Yes. She knows our cornbread. She knows the recipe I don't. Mm. Chef, knowing that he was, you know, so refined with, you know, going to Johnson & Wales University, being with the Steakhouse Chef, he had all this fine dining experience. 
even though he grew up on the islands, he knew some Caribbean dishes because he traveled so much. And I think I thought we needed something that that would just change what we eat here in Louisiana. Why not bring the Caribbean here to, to the south? Well, well you've done it. I, I you mean, know, this is and this is a new location. Yes, this is a new location right here on Airline Highway. You know, I am so grateful for everyone that showed up. Oh, paella. Oh, paella. Oh, oh wow. Every, not everybody do paella. No, that's the paella. Louisiana jambalaya. Yes. Oh, so, you got it. Yeah. How you know, man? Yeah, yeah. What? And the good thing about the paella, you forgot to explain that, that's, you know, it's a Hispanic dish. Yes. Um, so what he did to change or to add that fusion, Chef added the andouille sausage. Okay. He has the crawfish. Oh, oh yes. wow. And so the, it's, it's uh, andouille sausage? Yes. Uh, Louisiana, what else? Crawfish. The, the crawfish. The crawfish. Yes. Louisiana crawfish. Yes. Wow. Yes. Well, you can, yes. I, I won't find that in Spain. I promise you, well, if you do, <laughs> you have to sit down and talk. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So. Oh, wow. so what we have going on now in the pan, Chef? We have the sauteed some shrimp for the paella also. Okay, okay. So, so we're gonna it's very rich. Ah. Crawfish, you know, crab, and yeah. andouille and sausage. Okay. And you're gonna have Louisiana shrimp. Oh, wow. Yeah. So this is truly Louisiana and Caribbean fusion. Yeah. Because you're using the ingredients from the Caribbean and Louisiana. Oh, wow. Yeah. It, it gives the customer a little familiarity with certain things. Nice. Yeah. And then we got the Spanish dish with the potatoes. It looks like I see a little squid or calamari in there. It's oh, no, I, no, that's the crawfish. The crawfish. Oh my goodness. Crawfish, okay, crawfish. Crab. And now we're shrimp. adding the shrimp. Yes. Okay. Wow, that looks amazing. I love it. Exactly. All right. And do now, yes, if it's you if know, it, uh, saffron is very healthy for you too. Yes, saffron is a, a, a great uh, colon cleanser too. Yes. <laughs> Junior sous, sous chef helping out. Oh my goodness. Oh. Oh man. Wow, that looks amazing. So this is your double cut lamb, right? Yeah. Well, it's okay. your lamb that will be double cut, right? Yeah, yes. Okay. And then also, you know, it's favorite for brunch. Brunch. Oh, wow. Okay, peek through the window, Jasmine. What you say? The seafood. <laughs> <laughs> the, sea the seafood overload. The seafood overload. Do you know what that is? I have no clue. Well, I'm about to tell you. The seafood overload is, you know how traditionally everybody has a just the shrimp and grits. Right. Well, on the island, we have fish and grits. Right. So, wow. what, yeah, so we do the seafood overload having the shrimp, the fish, all on top of that stone grits. Okay. That is so creamy and tasty. Oh, you wow. know how they say, here, slap your mama? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> so, slap your mama, apparently, mama slap back. Mama slap right back. Yeah, so, you have that combination of the two. Well, well let's, let's hold that story because I'm going to focus because we got so yes. much going on here. Right. Okay. Jeff, what are we doing now? Uh, the spinach for the lamb chop. Okay, so this is the spinach for the lamb chop. Yeah. So you're sauteing it in a little olive oil? Yes. Okay, a little salt and pepper or just straight olive oil? Uh, I have Or chef. your secret, I another have, secret. I, I make my chef season. Okay. You know, so yeah. chef Self, season. A chef season. Yeah. Okay, so sounds good. I, I cook so cook. I, the panel is another secret, guys. <laughs> All right, and that's for the lamb chop. So what, what, what temperature or degree of lamb you cook? You do medium, medium well, or what's no, chef's No, right now it's medium well. Okay. That's my favorite. Oh, that's your favorite. That's yeah, chef's preference. That's, oh man, if you're gonna eat a good lamb, right? Medium well, that's you know, right, right. But Love medium. It. Okay, It'll be okay. good, you know. Love I, I have the it. sauce for the lamb. You cannot have this one without it. Yeah. That sauce will make it with the mashed potato. Oh man, that's that's everything here is Instagrammable, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. Love it, love it, love it. So, and this is a very popular dish here, right? 
The lamb? Yes. Oh, lamb on Sunday. Sunday is lamb day. Lamb day. Lamb a lamb a ling dong. You have to come early. If you don't come early, it's gone by, sold out. By two o'clock, we're sold out. Oh wow. Yes. All right. Well, well introduce Look. all the dishes you pair, prepare for the for us today, chef. Okay, Jasmine, come introduce the dishes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Let me get over to Jasmine and let her talk. Okay. You got that. Well, before we do, Gabby wanted to say hello. Oh yeah. Yeah. Say hi. <laughs> this is Gabby. She wants to come over and say hi. So there you go. We have the paella here. It's topped with shrimp. This is a beautiful dish with saffron rice. It has vegetables. And then here you have the jerk shrimp. You can have the jerk shrimp. It's sauteed with bell peppers and onions and chef's secret sauce. I have no clue what's in there, but I know it has a lot of fresh herbs and deliciousness in it. Here we have the double cut lamb chops. Um, it's cooked how you like it. You want it medium, medium well, medium rare. Well done. You'll have to butterfly it, but however you yeah. like it, he's, each gonna, one? he's gonna prepare it for Excuse you that me, way. And then it's over a bed of he roasted garlic, roasted garlic, um, mashed potatoes. Um, here we we have the jerk fish. This is a red fish. In the Caribbean, we do the red snapper. Yes, here this is the Louisiana red fish. Okay, very flaky, very light. You know, it's just delicious. And let it's top with Let me add Louisiana some white rice. Oh, yes. He's Boom, there it is. That's, that's that yeah. Louisiana fusion right there. <laughs> yes, yes. And then here we have the spinach. This is the sauteed spinach. Um, it has uh, strawberries, uh, mandarin orange, cranberry on, cranberries on it. He has some almonds and some different nuts on top of it. And he has a salmon on it, a grilled salmon on it. You can get shrimp, chicken, or the red fish on top of it. Or you can just enjoy it that way. Now the twist to that, he with a salad dressing that I like to eat this with, he has a strawberry light Italian dressing that he makes. Mm. I, I, I love all the dishes here on the Island Gumbo. I mean, we got our sous chef in training. Got Chef Nino here. <laughs> I'm thinking about my other buddy, uh, Chef Angel here. Yeah. And we got Jasmine, who's at the head of the house always. You know, she's, I came in here, she was greeting every person, you know. And uh, I love that about this place. I feel like I'm at home. It is home. It is you home. You know, and when, like you said, when you come in here to order, it's not a quick place to come. You're going to relax and enjoy, and your food is going to be prepared, prepared with love and care. Just for you. Just for you. That's custom custom yes. order. Oh, I yes. love oh. yes. And I can't wait to get some of these secrets out of him with all these different seasonings and he's put the secrets in the bottle to sell yeah. so we're gonna get into that a little later in a different show but right now we're gonna have some people tasting this food and let's have it let's do it all right yeah. Island Island Gumbo. Island Gumbo. all right i'm here in baton rouge louisiana at bullfish bistro this is the owner jasmine hi this is my mother geraldine and this is one of my best friends ginger we are trying and sampling some of their delicious dishes tonight. So Jasmine, what do we have on the plate? On the first plate over there, right in front of you, um, we have the jerk shrimp. It's sauteed with bell peppers and onions, like the whole trinity of bell peppers. Then Chef has some sauteed cabbage on that plate for you. Oh man, that looks good. So yes. your food is more of a Louisiana and Caribbean uh, fusion, right? Yes, it's the fresh herbs of the Caribbean and the delicious spices here in Louisiana. Okay. And that's what makes bullfish. Bullfish. Yes, bullfish. Uh, <laughs> uh, so what's next? And here we have a, a, a salmon, a jerk um, grilled salmon that is on the top of a spinach salad, spinach strawberry salad. It has mandarin orange on it. It has um, almonds on it. It has pecans on it from Louisiana. Of course, then, that's the fusion. Yes, that's the fusion. You've got it. And it, and it has cranberries on it also. Oh, wow. In addition to that, there's a strawberry, a fresh made strawberry Italian dressing. Plus, it's on the Eat Fit menu. Okay. okay. <laughs> and what, what's next? That looks like a Spanish paella to it me. It is a Spanish paella with that southern twist. Okay. Yes, the southern twist we have on that, he has, Chef has the andouille sausage. Okay. Yes, in addition to that, he has the crawfish 
is also from here in Louisiana. Yes, he has some crab meat in there, some, oh, wow. some scallops, and then it's topped with that saffron, yellow saffron, that smell rice. It has the shrimp from Louisiana on top of that. Oh, smell yes. vision activated. Yes, thank you. I was going to ask that you did that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what's the next place? And then here, this is the fans' favorite here. This is our double cut lamb chops. There's nowhere here in Louisiana you can go and get this dish. Um, like literally, we know lamb is not one of the cheap things to buy. So, but Chef give he gives so much of it, and it is so delicious. It's cooked how you like it, um, and he serves it over a bed of fresh garlic, uh, roasted garlic mashed potato, and then he saute spinach and put on top of it. And that sauce Oh, that sauce, let me tell you. People <laughs> buy that sauce, like literally they buy it and take it home so they can eat with their rice at home. Oh, wow. Yeah, yes. Yeah. You know, Louisiana, yes. we love the rice. Oh, and gravy. Yes. <laughs> so what do we have next here? Here, you know, in the Caribbean, we use um, red snapper as our red fish. Uh -huh. Here, there is a red fish in Louisiana, and that's what you have there. And it's topped with Louisiana shrimp. And he has herbal butter sauce that he makes and he puts on top of that. And he Tell has, me about the rice. Tell me about the uh, rice. What's the name of the rice? The rice is the jasmine scented coconut <laughs> rice. It is not named after me, Wardell. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but when you marry, when you put those two together, it's a match made in heaven. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And look, you got some Caribbean drinks as well. Yes, they're all tropical. Yes, mine. Yeah. They're feeling all Irish. All right, salute, right? ladies. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, all salute. Right. All from guys, the this, islands. I love it. I love it. Well, guys, when you're visiting Louisiana and you're passing through Baton Rouge, come check out Bullfish Bistro in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Really, more like Prairieville, Louisiana, or is it Baton Rouge? It's in Baton Rouge, okay. but it's, in the, it's like it's in the cusp of both. Okay. Like, you can be from anywhere and then you just can come here. Just right. find us here. All right, good. Yes. Well, football season is coming up, so I know you're going to have a heavy traffic coming through here. Yes, and we have the TV so you can watch the game. All right, great. Yes. So, guys, this is Wardell Juniors with My Scene TV, Mexico City, here visiting Baton Rouge, Louisiana with family and friends. Come visit Bullfish Bistro. Thank you. Thank you.